What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to Life to Metal. It's time for yet another big edition of... The Mail! That's right, time for... The Mail! And this edition of The Mail is brought to you by Greg the Egg, um, who is known as Blackmore Rules on YouTube, and I'll put a link below to his channel, and he sent me a CD um, in this box. <laughs> Greg the Egg's packages are never just a CD. Uh, he always says, I'm going to send you this CD, and then it comes like this. So, uh, we're going to get break into this. Got my handy knife, and we're going to rip into this package right now. Okay, there it is. All opened up. Uh, put the box down over here. And this, uh, one of our Greg and my connections is uh, hockey. So, uh, if you've ever watched one of my... Greg the Egg packages before you've seen he manages to find I mean he lives in Canada so he manages to find cool hockey stuff all the time and hook me up and uh, some of it is groups you know some of it is groups some of it is uh, teams I like some of it is teams I loathe <laughs> like the Penguins uh, but my wife is a Penguins fan so uh, you know I'm a Flyers fan a Kings fan he's a Canucks fan and a Flyers fan so uh, we have that going for us but uh, he'll send me stuff um, other stuff too and um, a lot of times they'll find youth size stuff and stuff like this. This is the Ducks. And what I do with this is we have a local hockey team, a local hockey club in my city, and they donate all the equipment to the kids. So they've got a locker room full of donated equipment. So all the kids in the, um, you know, who want to play hockey, because it's an expensive port. I mean, the ice time is expensive, the equipment's expensive. Uh, but they give all the kids any equipment they need. If you need skates, if you need pads, if you need, you know, practice jerseys, or whatever you need, they have them. So when he sends me this kind of stuff for the youth, I, I donate it to them and, and they use it. And the nice thing is, you know, uh, my grandson's part of the team. And he, uh, you know, you use this kind of stuff until you don't wear it, fit into it anymore and you donate it back. Uh, and that's how it kind of works, which is nice. So anyhow, that's kind of what's going on with that. Um, this, however, is not... A jersey and will not be donated if it fits me. <laughs> this is a Stanley Cup Champions 2000, uh, 2012 LA Kings. Very cool. Uh, Kings won two years, not in a row, I think they won 2012 and 2014, um, which was fantastic. I mean, they were just great and unfortunately they haven't really been doing well since, even though they have some of the same great players on the team. Um, but regardless, all right, and like I was saying, <laughs> they already can tell you who this one is. This is a little one. But this is uh, Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby t-shirt. This is a child's shirt, so obviously I wouldn't wear that even if it was an adult shirt. But <laughs> All right, a couple more. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm laughing at in a second. Another youth size jersey. The Toronto Blue Bombers or the Maple Leafs. All right, <laughs> this is what I was laughing at. That's your Bay City Rollers eight track right there. Uh, S A T U R D A Y night. Pretty sure that's on here. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there is a couple CDs in here. More than a couple. All right. So we got uh, ZZ Top. Tonight at Midnight, Live Greatest Hits, one I do not have, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. This is uh, the best of Bachman Turner Overdrive Live, Taking Care of Business, Blue Collar, Give Me Money Please, American Woman, Rock Is My Life, Shake It All Over, Four Wheel Drive, Weekends, Not Fragile, Let It Ride. I love the song Not Fragile, such a heavy track from them. And this is La Chinga, Beyond the Sky. I do have some Lachinga. I don't have that one, so. All right, and then there is, I don't know what's in here. Oh, a book. And a couple CDs. Oh, I see. This one actually says, To King Scott from Zulu, book and CD. So this actually, these actually came from uh, the headbanging Zulu on YouTube. Steve is his name. I'll put a link to his channel below too. Steve is out of the UK, and um, he hasn't been doing a lot of videos lately, but he has quite a few, uh, you know, you can back watch, and um, I'm sure he'll be doing more in the future, but he sent these too. So this is uh, Storm Zone, 
Death Dealer, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. I actually have heard bits of this. Uh, I've talked to Greg about this band, and they're fantastic. Uh, old school, heavy metal, kind of melodic, a little bit progressive, but just really good heavy metal. And then this is um, um, Giuseppe Verde, classical music, which I have never heard this, so. And then finally, this is Rob Halford, Confess. This is Rob Halford's biography, which I have not yet read or purchased, so very cool. And then, so that was uh, that was from, there's a few more things in this box though. Oh, this is cool. It's a, uh, I collect these, I have folders full of them. Cheap Trick 8x10 glossy photo. Black and white, obviously. So this is what it been from the mid 80s because they've got John Brandt on base there. Uh, and there's a, a few records in here. So you got the, the Henry Paul Band, which is kind of a southern rock uh, sound. Um, a little more on the countryside here and there, Henry Paul Band. Uh, this is Kim Mitchell. <laughs> I'm not laughing at Kim Mitchell. Uh, Lager and Ale on the, on the B side and All We Are on the A side. This is a radio single. This is what I'm laughing at. <laughs> it just wouldn't be a Greg Dagg package without at least one Donnie and Marie. But hey man, Deep Purple. <laughs> That's, every single time he gets me with one of those. <laughs> Okay, now this is interesting. I don't have any idea what this is, but it looks interesting. Looks to be a Kiss bootleg. I don't know 100% what it is. Um, I mean, it's definitely not an official reason. It's obviously a bootleg, but is it music? Is it log? Uh, Vancouver's semi-legendary Don Derry managed to keep this hard rock and head rush more or less together for some three decades. Uh, make your uh, I have no idea what this is Don Eric Cole I don't know maybe I just don't know <laughs> let's see here oh there's stuff inside too um, maybe it's a, a, a like a kiss um, I just don't know what this is. I, I mean, I'll have to do. I'm a, a, a Kiss fanatic. I've read a bazillion Kiss books. Uh, I just don't know what this is. It could be something from Kiss. It could be this guy Don, who I'm pretty sure is pictured up here. Um, so it could be a tribute thing. I just don't know. I uh, I'll have to see what Greg ha has to say about this one because he didn't tell me about this. So um, there is a bunch of inserts in here. Cool, something Kiss related. <laughs> uh, I can't even tell you from the center label because the center label, maybe it is. Love songs from the Lower East Side, Don Eric Ericle. So I, again, I don't know. Maybe maybe this is an album from Don Ericle and he's just a Kiss fanatic and it has a huge Kiss sound. It even has a uh, a Don Ericle collector card inside of it. Mr. Stanley Kupsik, Vancouver, Canada. Very cool. I don't know. We'll check it out. And then finally, uh, in this package is uh, an interview picture disc from Kiss. These used to be really popular in the '80s, man. They were everywhere. Those Kiss picture, I mean, not Kiss, but these interview picture discs. Obviously, they don't do them much anymore because you can listen to everything online. But they used to put these out quite a bit back in the day. So that's it. That is. Oh no, there's not. There's one more thing in here. There's a shirt. Oh, what up in the corner I didn't see? Oh, this is a cool shirt, too. It's a good thing I didn't miss it, see? Rush. That's perfect. That's awesome. So there you go. That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Greg. Appreciate it, uh, and I appreciate you all watching. Um, that's it for now. God bless. Stay strong.